So you just won your second state title. You did it with four seniors that were key kids. Talk about them a little bit. Five. Five. <laughs> um, I can't say enough about those kids. They're active in our community, our churches, our school. They're multi-sport athletes. Um, those kids have started since they were freshmen. We talked a lot about focus when they were freshmen, and they've grown. I'm just extremely proud of them. So one of the things that has been a signature issue for you has been to help coaches be more than presence in the gym. You had a difficult childhood, and you saw volleyball be a part of how you coped with it. How do you reach out, and what's your message to other coaches? Uh, you know, there are so many people that had, um, have had and are going through challenging childhoods. Um, when I was in um, high school, I participated, and it was through athletics and through my coaches and some of my teachers that um, I realized that you, you can't um, use your background, use the challenges that you have as excuses, um, but you, you can allow good to come from those things. So I owe uh, lots of things to people in my life that have helped me through hard, hard times. In the gym, I think as coaches, um, we need to get to know our players more than as if they were a setter on the floor, a middle hitter, that they are kids. And we have an opportunity to make a difference in their lives by the words we choose to use towards them, uh, the tone of voice that we use in practice. We don't always know what they go home to. And so I guess I challenge everybody that's in here who supports volleyball to be a supporter of kids. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.